Spotlight. I'm Shonda Scott, and today our spotlight is on Council Member Annie Campbell Washington, District 4 of City of Oakland, and a former school board member of the Oakland Unified School District. Welcome. This is the first time we had you on the show, even though you were on the school board. Thank you, Shonda. It's so great to be here. Yeah, it's great to have you. I'm so excited. You did a lot of great work in a short period of time at, at Oakland Unified, and now you're on the city council doing great things. You just get right in there. <laughs> Thank you. I tried to hit the ground running. Yes. Well, the, the nice thing about starting as an Oakland City Council member is I had worked in the city of o Oakland for about 15 years mm -hmm. before That's I true. became a council That's member. True. So I knew a lot of the issues and mm -hmm. definitely had relationships with a lot of the people. So what committees are you on now in city council? Right now I'm chairing our life enrichment committee and I'm also serving as a member of the finance and management committee and the community and economic development committee. Now the life enrichment committee is the one where you partner with, is that partner with the Oakland Unified School District? So well, actually, there's another committee that I'm on, serving on, which is called the Education Partnership Committee. And that committee has three city council members and three school board members, as well as the superintendent uh, attends most of those meetings as well. So that's a good fit for you with your school board experience and your city experience. You'd be good for that committee. Absolutely. I really enjoy serving on there. And I think I feel like rejuvenating that committee with um, two former uh, school board members who are now city council members and uh, council member Guillen who uh, was former Peralta College's trustee really gives us a way to concretely partner together because oh, we cool. understand the systems that we're trying to impact. And you're also a parent in Oakland Unified. How does that work with you <laughs> from the school board, the city council and the parent just having that that vantage point? Well the thing is uh, as a city council member I find that almost every issue that I work on, I'm coming to that issue with a perspective of being a parent, with a perspective of um, being someone who's always been passionate about education because my father was a community college professor. And um, it really helps me because it grounds me in what is most important in the decisions that we're making is the health, uh, the health of our uh, students, uh, our young people, and the health of our families. Now, um you also have been advocating for affordable housing, well, workforce housing for teachers. That's I right. Mean, that's, that's tremendous to start having developments consider having teachers as part of that. So can you tell us a little about the work you're doing in that area? Absolutely. Uh, so our housing developments here in the city of Oakland for a very long time, we've been building very low income, low income affordable housing, and we've also been building market rate housing. But what, what has been missing is that middle uh, income housing, what we call workforce housing, which is the 80% to 120% average median income. And it just so happens is that that's where teacher salaries fall in. So unfortunately, we haven't been building housing stock that our teachers are able to afford. And it's really having a negative impact on the school district being able to recruit teachers. So. Um, uh, something I'm very proud of is uh, a project that just went through the full city council on Tuesday and that's a housing development um, on Webster and Valdez in our uptown neighborhood and there was already going to be 15% uh, of that housing project was going to be for workforce housing 34 units mm -hmm. and so I made a motion to add a preference for teachers and OUSD staff members for those rental units that we first try to fill those units with teachers that's and great. OUSD staff. That's fantastic. I'm very excited excited yeah. about it because that is going to make a difference because the, the cost of living here is so high that you can't attract good absolutely teachers. you know it makes it easier to attract because then they don't have to commute just like having police officers and teachers live in the community just makes for a better you know community absolutely partner. what we know right now is Oakland is um, the fourth highest rental market in the entire country and um, if we cannot find a way to ha have our teachers, uh, one of our most pre precious resources here in Oakland, find a, a place that they can afford to live, we have a huge problem on our hands. You've been elected. How long has it been? You've done. It's been a year. Been, like, <laughs> like it's been an exciting year. Yeah, it has been. I'm glad you were able to make it into the show and have have give us our update on what you're working on and Absolutely. let us know when you're doing things in your district and we'll come out and cover it. Thank you. I would love that. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Shonda. Thank you. You've been watching Spotlight. Today our Spotlight was on Council Member Annie Campbell Washington, who is with the City of Oakland and a former OUSD Board of Education, where every student thrives. Thank you for joining us.